Today, we'll be taking a super scenic mountain railway trip across southern Europe that I bet most of you never even knew existed, so let's go and check it out together! Buongiorno and welcome back to Italy. I'm really excited to share this slightly older video with you today and hopefully inspire some of your European travels this summer. Over the next few weeks, I'll have some brand new and exciting videos coming up, starting with the recently launched private compartment suite sleeper train in Indonesia. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. But let's get today's video started as we walk to Pescara Centrale, the main station in this Italian seaside city which has a population of 120,000 people. Pescara Centrale opened as the city's new main station in 1987 and now serves around 3.5 million passengers annually. Inside is a staff ticket office, various automatic ticket machines and a large departure board. Our train today is the Regionale Veloce or Regional Express 4167 which departs at 9.25am. There is also a good selection of shops and eateries down here, even if it is a bit dark and dingy. All eight tracks are raised on viaducts to remove the need for level crossings at grade in the central area of the city. If you have a paper ticket, you must validate it in one of these machines before you board the train. Italian ticket inspectors are not known for their forgiveness, even if you claim ignorance of this rule. All platforms are accessed by lifts and escalators up from this main concourse. Our train is already in waiting for us as we emerge into the bright sunlight on platform 6. The rake of all second class coaches will be hauled today by a Trenitalia E464 electric locomotive which has a top speed of 160 km per hour and a power output of 3,500 kilowatts. With 717 of these locos received by Trenitalia, they are the most common in service on the Italian rail network. Let's now check out today's route from Pescara Centrale to Roma Termini. Boarding is not level with the platform with three steps up to the coach. You'll need to speak to station staff if you require use of a ramp or wheelchair lift. All seating on the train is second class in a 2 plus 2 configuration and in bays of 4. Large suitcases can be stored in the vestibules or smaller items of luggage on the overhead racks which run the length of the coaches. Departure time is fast approaching and the train is dead quiet today. We depart on time at 9.25am. This trip from Pescara Centrale to Roma Termini is 240km in distance and is scheduled to take 3 hours and 25 minutes of travel time today. The fixed price for an adult ticket on this service is €15.45, which I think is good value for the amazing scenery that's coming up. This Regionale Veloce or Regional Express service will make limited stops at the larger towns along today's route, compared to a Regionale service which would stop at them all. Good morning. Welcome on board. 41.67. The train will arrive in 12.50. 
If you want ad free early access to every video, great perks and to help me do bigger and better reviews then become a channel member from just £1.99 per month. Just click the link above now or the join button in every video. Thank you. As I said before, this was filmed when Italy had been hit hard by Covid and was still implementing travel restrictions with blocked seats and excessive signage. I'm so glad those days are well behind us now. Ok, let's now check out the seats. And for a regional train, they're not bad. Well padded and with a reasonable ergonomic shape, slight wings at the top and adjustable armrests. The normal legroom is good and amazing if there's no one opposite you. You'll also find a bin and a power socket under the window. Coat hooks can be found on the wall along with an excellent sunblind on the windows. By the way, there is no first class, Wi-Fi or catering at all on this service. Overall, a pretty good second class regional product, especially with it being this empty too. Before the best of the scenery arrives, let's go and check out a bit more of the train. It really is dead in here today. That just reinforces my theory that the line is very unknown outside of the locals. In every coach you'll find a toilet at each end. The water worked, with the tap being activated by this foot pump. The soap was empty, but the paper towels were stocked up. The toilet is flushed also by pedal and there was toilet paper present. It was relatively clean as well, good job. On this trip we will go from sea level in Pescara up to nearly a thousand metres and back down again to near sea level in Rome. We are now entering the Maella National Park which is centred around the Maella Massif range where the highest peak is Mount Amaro at 2,793 metres. Sulmona is a small town of 22,000 people which dates back to 211 BC. Unfortunately, nearly all of the medieval buildings were destroyed by an earthquake in 1706, with the notable exceptions of the town's Roman aqueduct and the Santa Maria della Tumba church, seen here. As we climb further, the train window views are getting better and better over the Prezza Valley and are some of the best I've seen in Italy outside of the mountainous north. The station in Prezza village has been disused since 2017, understandable as there are just 800 people living in the village now. Still we climb and we climb some more and pass by the Sorrentivellino National Park on the right. Currently the whole of this line is single track, with passing places at stations. 
However, track infrastructure and realignment work is currently ongoing to double track the whole line and improve the maximum speed to 200 km per hour, which will reduce the time it takes to travel between Pescara and Rome to around 2 hours, saving more than 1 hour and 20 minutes on the current time. This will also offer an improved service for both passengers and freight on this important route across central Italy. We pass through Roviano station serving the village of 1300 people. It is still open and gets around 15 regional trains per day, but our regional express train does not stop here. We are now quickly descending back down towards sea level and arrive at what is probably the Italian station with the longest name. It serves the Agnene Valley and the two small nearby villages from the second half of the name and is 45 kilometers northeast of Rome. We are now on the last stretch of today's trip, so let me summarise my experience on the Trenitale Regionale Veloce service from Pescara to Rome. I had a blast, I really enjoyed the quiet train, the good seats, not to mention the amazing scenery, and all at a reasonable price. If you want to check out my video on board the Italian flagship Frecciarossa 1000 high speed train in the top tier executive class, then click the link above now. We arrive into Roma Termini around 5 minutes late at 12.55pm. Have you been on any of Europe's lesser known mountain railways before? Which one did you do and how did you find it? Let me know in the comments below. By the way, I'm always open to new video ideas, so send me a DM on Instagram or Twitter if there's anything you really want to see on the channel. Don't forget to subscribe as I publish a new review every Friday. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.